This is my grave. Uh, I am in Easter Ross, northeast of Scotland. Uh, didn't plan really on making any videos, but um, I'm at this Pictish stone near Ballantore. I just thought it might be, you might be interested in it. Um, it's an old Pictish site, and the Pictish stone had broken up into into pieces, and various um, people took various bits. Part of it ended up in uh, a castle nearby, um, but then it ended up in the British Museum in London, and then the National Museum in Edinburgh, and part of it's ended up back here um, at um, in the in the local village. Um, but since it's in bits, there have been attempts to remake it, essentially, make a cast of it. Uh, and it's been put back into its original place, which is pretty cool. So let's have a wee look. It's quite sizeable. Um, so the pics converted to Christianity, I think in about the 6th or 7th century, something like that. So that's why it's got the cross on it. Um, and we've got a guy fighting with a lion. Probably some religious reference that I'm not getting. I'm not up on my Christianity, I'm afraid. Uh, angels at the top. Shepherd or something. Harp player. Um, lots of details down here. This is meant to be an interactive site as well, but Unfortunately, I don't have any signal here, <laughs> so I can't scan the QR code and stuff. I might have to do that when I when I get back. The other side's all decorated as well. All the knots and everything. Depictions of battles and all sorts. So it's probably about I don't know, ten feet high. Let's try and get into a bit of perspective. And I think it's lit up at night. It's very uh, obelisk from 2001 A Space Odyssey. <laughs> but yeah, and over at the back here, just in the distance, um, they reckon is a site of, a, of an ancient Pictish abbey as well. Um, not much to be seen now, but especially at this perspective. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the phone, um, but there is quite a reasonably clear boundary wall right the way around. Obviously they've fenced it in just to make it a bit easier as well. And you can walk around that. So then there's an inner kind of enclosure as well. But as I say, it's quite difficult to see from this perspective. But yeah, it's got a nice, uh, nice wee area. Got some information boards. Love a good information board, me. Um, so there's one on the uh, on the standing stone. That's that flat one next to it, to the left of it. And then there's one over at the gate for the uh, for the structure that used to be here. So yeah. Pretty cool, thought that was worth sharing. Um, yeah, because I've come up north and I decided I wasn't going to really make any videos, but here we are. It's just what happens, isn't it? Um, so let's go and find out a little bit more about the, the stone itself. So we've got Hilton of Cardball Stone, Clach Valla Ach Nike, Slia Chruinach Nagiltach, that's the Highland Pictures Trail. Which it seems like I'm gonna have to do now. So yeah, we are uh, currently on this part of Scotland, on in Easter Ross. Um, so yes, welcome to Hill Hilton of Cadbold Chapel site. This site boasts a full-size replica of the Hilton Stone, the original of which resides in the National Museum of Scotland. This is the largest Pictish cross slab on the trail. The base of the original stone is now housed in the new John Ross Visitor Centre, Hilton. So that's the bottom part that I mentioned. Please access the Augmented Reality app 
See, this is where I don't have any signal, I can't do that. To learn all about the history of this stone, the fenced area encloses the ruins of the Hilton Chapel, an early Christian monastery dating back to the 8th century. Both the stone and the chapel area are designated as scheduled monuments under the authority of Historic Environment Scotland. Further geophysical surveys and potential archaeological digs are planned for this site. And then they've got some other stuff about the local area, which is good. Um, and that's what you have to do with the QR code and all that. So yeah, very interesting, well worth a visit. But of course, as I'm walking further away, I find another plaque thing to it. So it's got more information. This is a bit more pertinent as well. So this intricate carving, so I was saying the guy on the horse, um, known as the Vine Scroll, contains depictions of fantastic winged creatures the mirror and comb, picture symbols possibly associated with women, status and prestige. The hunting scene depicts a woman as the principal character. This is unusual for a picture stone and she was almost certainly of noble birth. That's the quality. Um, two armed horsemen and two dogs chase a deer while two trumpeters blow their long horns to urge them on. Uh, the interti intertwined scrolls are characteristic of pictures artwork. So what's the what the pics depicted? The hunting scene may be a Pictish allegory for religious conversion and the soul's salvation. The central woman rides side saddle facing outwards. This could have religious significance as Mary and Jesus are sometimes depicted this way in Christian art. Um, Hilton of Cadball's great stone may have been a tribute to, powerful, to a powerful woman. It is a striking example of early Christian imagery. This cross slab was erected at about AD 800 but broke soon after. The lower portion of the stone was then buried to form a new base. It broke again in 1674 and a carved portion was left in the ground. In about 1676 the cross face was chipped off by some barbarous mason of Ross to create a grave slab. By 1780 the stone was recorded near the ruins of a chapel. A hundred years later, the stone travelled via, via Invergordon Castle and the British Museum to the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh. Its base and thousands of broken fragments were excavated in 2001. Local people commissioned this outstanding replica. So, so yeah, so you can see the base of it there, um, which is in the village of Ballantor nearby, which is pretty cool. Um, and because that bit was under the ground, it's been kept in pretty decent condition compared to the rest of it that wasn't, which is awesome to see. Um, so yeah, just just walked a few yards away. I mean, literally, uh, that's the stone there. I found more information on it. So I probably approached from the wrong direction, I think. So anyway, I think that's it this time. So cheerio and drastamaha.